Proclaim a joyful sound and let it be heard. Proclaim to the ends of the earth, the Lord has freed his people. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me, me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth is to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. God, that we may celebrate with heartful, heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we live in remembrance, we may always hold to what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the things he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all, Let the, all earth the earth cry, cry out to God, God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. 
Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God who refused me not my prayer for his kindness. Let all of the earth cry out to God with joy. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him and will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and we will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees or knows him. But you know him, because he remains with you, and I will be and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in the Father, and you are in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my, by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the sixth Sunday of Easter, and it is also the second last Sunday of Easter next Sunday which will be the solemnity of the Ascension, we shall come to the end of the Easter season. And of course, that's the Sunday when we shall come back to pray together again. Let's look forward to that Sunday with enthusiasm as we come together again in our church and to celebrate Mass together after a long time 
and also of course celebrate worthily and happily the ascension of our Lord back to the Father in heaven. The Sunday following the ascension, the Sunday when we shall come together will be Pentecost Sunday and after that we shall have the solemnity of the Holy Trinity, then have another solemnity of the body and blood of Christ. So we shall be going through many, many celebrations. And so as you see, we are in kind of a, a liturgical transition, changing from Easter time to this moment is coming. It is truly a liturgical transition. And so in the gospel of today, Jesus is pointing us to this transition. And of course, for him it was the transition that his disciples, <coughs> excuse me, his disciples were going to experience when he goes back to the Father, when he's no longer physically with them. So he's uh, giving them kind of a farewell as he leaves them. And so in this farewell, in this transition that he introduces or he shares with his disciples, Jesus gives two major points, two major messages. The first message that Jesus gives is his assurance or his promise that he will remain with his disciples. Even when he goes away, he will remain with them. He will not leave them orphans. We heard him say in the gospel, he, rem he promises, he pledges to remain with his disciples, to remain with us, and to remain with the church. And as he remains with us, and with the church, and in the church, through him, God the Father, and also the Holy Spirit, also remain in the church, also remain in our lives as believers. The old Holy Trinity remains with us, remains with the church to sanctify us and to lead us to our final destiny. So that's what Jesus insisted on today, that as he remains with us, also the Father and the Holy Spirit remains with us. So Jesus Christ is present in our lives. Jesus Christ is present in the church. How? In his word. When we listen to the word of God here, and especially the gospel, we are not listening to some historical recording. It is truly Jesus talking to us. It is God talking to us. And that's why we find a lot of meaning, a lot of lessons, a lot of comfort in the words of Scripture and especially in the Gospels. Jesus Christ is present to us and in the church in the sacrament all the sacraments of the church because they are visible signs of God's invisible grace and particularly the sacrament of the Eucharist where he comes himself and feeds us and nourishes us. Jesus Christ remains in us and remains in the church in our Christian unity in our one faith that we profess together 
or so he remains with us in our charity to one another and to our love of one another. That's how Christ has remained in the church. That's how Christ has kept his promise. I will not leave you alone. I will be with you always. The second message Jesus gives us this time of transition is the message about his love. He loved us from the beginning and as he says, no greater love has man than to lay his life for his friends. Jesus loves us and he urges now his disciples to love him in return. So we heard in the gospel, he said, keep my commandments. And when you keep my commandments, that will be the sign that you love me. So, the commandments of God will be the sign that we love him if we keep those commandments. Kind of challenge. Because if Jesus Christ had said, whoever makes the sign of the cross, then that one, it means he loves me or she loves me. But he says, if you keep my commandments, that will be the sign, that will be the proof that you love me. So we are challenged today about our love for the Lord. Because our love for the Lord will be measured by how much we observe and keep the commandments. We know that this is not easy to observe the commandments. We know how humanly we fail. But then, how much we love him will be proved, will be measured by how much we keep the commandments. So let us try again and again always to live by the commandments of God. It's not easy, but the Lord himself will help us. The Lord himself will strengthen us to keep them. And moreover, Jesus Christ has another solution for us in the sacrament of penance. When we fail to keep the commandments, then he avails himself to us in the sacrament of penance to come and be strengthened in faith and in keeping the commandments, to come and be washed of our sins and weaknesses. Let us rejoice in the risen Lord as we come to the end of this Easter season. Let us look at his love and love him. We see how much he loves us and we too in time ought to love him but by keeping his commandments. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of her virgin baby, and became man. For our sake he was crucified and crucified. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us thank God our Father, who has given us life through the resurrection of His Son. And let us offer all our prayers to Him with hope. For the Church, formed in the Spirit as the body of Christ, may God graciously grant us what we need as we proclaim the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, especially those who feel alone in their struggle, may they experience the comfort of our loving God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of the coronavirus pandemic throughout the world, may God's healing hand and the spread of the disease be halted and that many lives be spared. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your protection and grace for all medical professionals who are courageously treating those infected with coronavirus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, as we near the end of the Easter season, may God's grace continue to bring us to a deeper relationship with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they find peace and eternal joy in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Joseph and Mary Swenda, Norb and Sally Harbour, and Debbie Freiberg, who this weekend Masses are offered for, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For your personal intentions that you hold deep within your heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear and grant for our needs and our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our prayers raise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, 
we ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world, and by dying he destroyed our death, and by raising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land and every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as the acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, the Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for us protection in mind and body, and the healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to separate from you. Amen. If you love me, keep my commandments, says the Lord. And I'll ask the Father, and will send you another paraclete to abide with you forever. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, 
the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thy Prince of the heavenly host, and by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all, his, all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.